y'all, it's me Zoe here at Zoe's World and I have got a quick haul for you today. First thing I want to say is happy birthday, Jesus. Merry Christmas, y'all. I hope you are enjoying a beautiful day with your family. Here in Illinois, we have had rain since early this morning. I think I woke up around 4 a.m. and it was raining and it has not stopped raining. It has slowed down, but it has continued to rain all day long. No storms or anything, just constant rain. So, just kind of a cold, I, sh I shouldn't say it's cold. It started off warmer, the rain was cold, um, but now the wind has picked up. And according to my car, it is 53 degrees right now. So, it's not that it's really cold outside, the wind is cold and then the wet rain. So, that's where we're at here in Illinois, but we are very blessed and very thankful to be here. Um, I did a quick, just a quick uh, video last night. I don't know if y'all seen it with me and my dad. Um, that was the end of the evening before we left the festivities. We live about an hour and a half away and it takes even longer to get home because we have to take all these country roads uh, part of the way. And we have to watch for deer and everything coming home. So in the dark, it is a little bit rough <laughs> coming home from his house back to where we live but um, we had a wonderful time we were all so exhausted by the time I did that video should have did it when we first got there but there were so many people there and it was so loud um, I just wanted to uh, kind of share a little tidbit while I was at his house because I so enjoy going there every year my dad is the best and we had a lot of fun last night we had a great time so I hope you guys whenever you celebrate we celebrate always Christmas Eve I'm usually working Christmas Day but I was blessed to have this year both holiday, both days off. So, very thankful for that. Grab me a drink real quick. So, in this rainy weather, I got up early this morning and did a few things in the house. Um, threw some dishes in the dishwasher. Uh, just cleaned up some stuff. Put some stuff away. Gift wrapping paper and stuff that I kind of left a mess last night before we left. And so I've just been kind of having a relaxing day, just putting some stuff away and um, watching Hallmark movies. I'm wearing my fabulous Hallmark t-shirt. Did you guys see it here? It says it's either serial killer documentaries or Christmas movies. Watch, let's see if I can get it to show it all to you guys. We either slaying or slaying. <laughs> Not exactly a Hallmark movie, but y'all know I'm watching Hallmark movies or serial killer movies. <laughs> Dateline, that kind of stuff. True crime. Okay, y'all. So let me get right into this haul. Like I said, it's not a ton of stuff. Um, it's a quick one, uh, but I did find a few things when I went out. Not yesterday. I didn't go out yesterday. I went out day before yesterday. So we'll start with Dollar General. Now, I actually had a lot more stuff than this. But the main thing, y'all, I can't talk today. The main thing that I purchased when I was out running errands was stuff like um, gift wrap, more gift wrap, which I did not need. But I've seen some beautiful prints, and I just like to have that stuff, you know, on hand so whenever it gets time for the next holiday, I have multiple different kinds of paper. I usually wait till it all goes on sale. But some of these deals were great that was going on, so I went ahead and just bought some gift wrap and stuff. But I did buy a few other things I thought I would share with y'all. So first thing, I picked up these napkins. They say 2024 on them for New Year's Eve. Um, Jack and I, when we were younger, we went out all the time. Anymore, we stay home. People shoot off guns, and there's a lot of craziness with people drinking. and So we just stay home, and I'm going to make some appetizers. Got the plates. Happy New Year's Eve. Oh, those napkins, by the way, were a dollar. Um, these plates were a dollar, and they're an eight count. The napkins are a 16 count. It'll just be Jack and I here. I got these little horn, little horns to blow at midnight. These were two dollars. But um, we will be staying home, and I'll make appetizers. We will probably watch movies, maybe play some cards, uh, board games, that kind of thing. And then at midnight, we'll ring in the new year with a champagne toast. 
but throughout the evening we'll just snack. I'm gonna make um, meatballs. I'm gonna make, um, I just made meatballs for last night. My daughter Jessica asked me would I bring meatballs. She loves my meatballs. Um, so I made those last night and took those to my dad's. We all bring a dish when we go. And then um, I also um, will be making that buffalo chicken dip for Jack for New Year's Eve. We also um, sometimes make little smokies or the sausage and cheese dip. But um, and we do always have black eyed peas because in my family that is a kind of a tradition. You're supposed to have a spoonful of black eyed peas at least for good luck for the new year. I wouldn't say I'm overly suspicious. Um, actually not, a, I don't know, I don't want to say suspicious, uh, what's the word I want to say? I don't necessarily believe in all the different, you know, things, <laughs> but growing up, that was what we were supposed to do every New Year's Eve, so I will be cooking black eyed peas to make so that we can have at least a spoonful on New Year's Eve. So if y'all have any good black eyed peas recipes out there on how you cook them, let me know because I don't care for them. <laughs> Someone told me you can add like jalapenos and they'll make them very delicious. And I'm a bean eater, so the fact that I don't love them is kind of odd. Um, I love like ham and beans, that kind of thing. Um, and I might end up making a pot of ham and beans that day just to have for our meal or whatever, but then I'll make the appetizers for us to snack on. So. Y'all let me know if you have any good recipes for those black eyed peas. Okay, so back to the haul. So I showed you the New Year's stuff. Then I've been needing these brushes and I have been trying to find them at my good or at my Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree has been sold out of them. So I've got these. I wasn't real happy. You only get three brushes. And I want to say they were like $175 for the three of them. So that's not a good deal when I usually get a lot more brushes at Dollar Tree for the $1.25. But I needed them, so I went ahead and picked them up. I also got some more of these. These are used for crafting, junk journaling. They were a dollar. This is what I got on that other haul, and I didn't get to show you guys because I had accidentally taken it in, so I, I went ahead and got it out so I could share it to you on this haul. These are salt and pepper shakers that match those Christmas. I don't know if you guys saw that video I did with the red and white dishes, but these match them. So there's little barns, there's a, there's little things on them. And there's the tractor and the barn and their salt and pepper shaker and they were $3. So I was super excited to, to found them to go with those other dishes I had showed y'all. And then I found this coloring book. For those of you who don't know, I love to color and it's so relaxing to me. And um, I found this um, Color the Bible it's three dollars and it just has all the different and I like these pages because they're not two-sided so you can actually tear this out if you want to there's lots of different things on here So I'm excited about that, uh, be a new coloring book for me to have for the new year. Y'all, are you guys ready for the new year? Like, are you ready for like a new year to begin? I feel like I am so psyched about the new year. It's funny because I'm like this every year. I love that we are going into a new year. Um, what I like to think of as a new season in our life, um, it's something new and fresh and can be very exciting. Um, I do not believe in doing like a resolution. I feel like you set yourself up for failure when you do this. I know tons of people do them. I'm just not one of them. Um, I guess my goal is always to do better than I did the year before. <laughs> and to, yeah, I try to set myself up with a goal. So that's what I'll be doing and I'll share that with you guys um, as it gets closer. I am planning on doing a video on New Year's Eve for you guys, but I just wanted to to kind of touch base to see, hey, do you guys, do you have any New Year's Eve traditions that you do or any um, resolutions that you're planning on? Let me know in the comments. 
Okay, so that was all I was going to share with you from Dollar General because, like I said, it was a lot of gift wrap and stuff that I actually already put away. I've been trying to clean up all my messes from last night or from the day before yesterday. I thought that I was so prepared for the holiday. And in a sense, I was. I had purchased all the gifts. I had one gift that I had to really get, um, gift card. And I went out and got that. Um, but I had already gotten everything else. And I thought, oh, I'm so on it this year. Like, I'm so prepared. But then I realized, okay, I needed to run to the grocery store. And I needed to um, go get cash out of the ATM because I had a couple cash gifts I was giving. And I then wanted to have a card, a special card for someone's birthday. And then I... I mean, it just, the list just kept growing for that day before Christmas Eve. And so I ended up running like that entire day, y'all. I mean, running, running, running. And I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, here, I thought I was done with everything. Then I came home and lots of the, I had wrapped almost everything, so I thought. But I ended up having about 10 gifts I did have to go ahead and wrap. So, y'all, I was not as prepared as I thought I was. And then... Got up early to make the, put the meatballs on so they could be done before we left to go to my dad's and all we had to do was heat them up. So it just ended up being a really busy couple of days. And y'all, when I came home last night, I was so tired. I like closed my eyes and I don't even remember like doing anything else. Like I just remember closing my eyes and <laughs> I must have been instantly out. Okay, so now we're gonna jump right into Goodwill. So I found this and I think it's so beautiful. Now keep in mind, I haven't cleaned it up or anything yet. And there's like dried wax and stuff in here. It, I already took the tag off, it's $4.99. But I thought, do you guys remember the advent count, not calendars, advent candles that I got, the purple and pinks? I have never done that, but I love the idea of doing the advent calendar um, leading up to Christmas. I keep saying calendar, candles, the advent candles. Um, and you light one at each week leading up to, or is it each week or is it each night? I need to research that because I've never done it. But I really, I saw those and I want to do it. So I thought this candle holder would be absolutely perfect for those four candles. So I got that. I told my husband, by the time we do move, we're going to have everything new or, you know, everything we need that... Luckily, we won't need to buy anything. He said, well, that's good because we'll be paying a new mortgage and so <laughs> we won't want to be spending money. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I'm getting a text. Okay, this next item was $2.99 and I just thought these were beautiful. I'm not gonna take them out of this box for two reasons. One, they have got it like massively taped here, like with packing tape. And two, and then there's just that folded bottom, but they're very, they're the glass balls, but hopefully you can see them. I'm losing light out here. But they are royal blue, and they've got beautiful little cardinal birds. I hope you guys can see that on them. And trees. And that little red there, that's the little cardinal bird. But I think these are beautiful. It's a set of four Christmas balls. And um, I paid, what did I say, $2.99? Yeah, $2.99 at Goodwill for them. Now, I've told you all before, I don't buy a ton at Goodwill anymore because used to, I would leave there with carts full. But their prices have gotten so ridiculous that unless I think it's an okay buy or a good buy, I don't buy it. Okay, this next item I paid $2.79 for, and I just think this is absolutely beautiful. It looks, it's, it's a wooden cross, and I hope I'm not losing too much light where you can see how beautiful it is, but... It says Jerusalem down here. I'm gonna get it close so you guys can see it. It's got Jerusalem kind of cut into it. This is, I'm assuming the holy water. This is actual water inside of a little glass container. And it's got this, I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it abalone? Is that how you say it? Or inlay here. And then here it's got like what looks kind of like a star. And there's something inside there. It looks like some kind of rock. If you all know what that would be, you guys can tell me. But I thought this was absolutely beautiful. And I'm afraid I'm losing light. You're not going to be able to see just how pretty it is. But it truly, in my opinion, is gorgeous. I love crosses. I have them all over my house. And this will be added to my, my collection. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. But I paid $2.79 at um, Goodwill. And it does have a little hanger here to hang it.
So y'all let me know. But I thought this was beautiful. Okay. This next item, I loved it just because it reminds me of something old fashioned. You guys know I like the older stuff. Now the ticket says four seventy four. Red, red uh, color was fifty percent off, so I paid half of that. And this is it. That's the picture. It's a sign, and it's kind of a kind of a not super thick wood, but it's not real thin. And I'm afraid this video is not going to do it justice, but it's got glitter all over it. It's so sparkly. My little my little hooks coming out of the side here. I might have to put a little glue in that, but. Y'all, isn't this beautiful? It looks so old fashioned. His beard is sparkly. The snow is all smart is all sparkly with the glitter. It's like a fine snowy looking glitter. And I just think this is beautiful. Like I said, it's just a little sign. But I will eventually use it in my decor at Christmas time. And then the very last item that I got from Goodwill is this basket. This thing is sturdy and I paid $2.79 for it. And it's it's got all these pretty colors in it. It's really pretty on the inside, all this uh, colored stitching. But I thought this would be cute, like sitting up on my desk or a shelf or whatever, just to keep stuff in it for storage. It's so colorful, like I like. So I think that is really pretty. And I think that will be perfect with my decor. Okay, y'all, those are the few items that I wanted to share with you from Dollar General and Goodwill. Hope you guys liked them. Um, sorry, I'm losing light here, but um, I do have um, some other stuff I'll be showing you this next week. I am going to be working the next three days. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be working the next few days. But I've got more hauls coming for y'all. Let me know if you guys would like to see what I got for Christmas. Um, I I don't, I've never done that as far as, you know, this is my first year on YouTube. I've showed you guys the little things, little gifty things that we did from work. But um, let me know if you actually want to see what I got from Christmas, uh, the other stuff that I got from Christmas. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I feel like I have, but maybe I haven't. My husband and I, we don't actually shop for each other for Christmas. When we want or need something, we just buy it all year long. Um, this year, he was needing a um, heater for his man cave outside, and um, he wanted a he wanted a propane one, and it's called a Buddy, and it's for indoor use. So he wanted one of those because he needed it, and so I went ahead and just ordered it for him. It wasn't really a Christmas gift; it was just something that he needs. It hasn't come in yet. It's going to be in on Thursday, it said from Amazon. But um, I did get him that. Um, then he and I were out getting last minute stuff. We stopped at this antique store. And y'all, they had a donkey in there. Yes, y'all. A Mexican decor donkey. <laughs> you guys know I collect the Mexican pottery. And it was so incredibly beautiful. And it was like yay big. I mean, pretty good sized at an amazing price. I love this store so much. I actually am going to be doing a new series on my YouTube channel starting in January. And it is going to be me going in and showing you local businesses in my area. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. If you'd like to see like the insides of some of our local businesses here in Illinois. Um, and I'll kind of introduce you to the owners, that kind of stuff. Um, let me know what you think about that. But that's a series I'm planning on doing in January. And, um, like I said, I found this donkey and Jack said, you just need to go ahead and get it. And I said, oh, it's Christmas. I don't need to be buying for myself. And he said, just buy it. So I went ahead and got it and, um, it's absolutely beautiful. And I'd love to share that with you, but I never want to be ever braggy or, uh, just, you know, this is what I got kind of thing because that's not the meaning of Christmas. Um, at all and I don't ever want people to think that um, I'm very thankful for all the things I do get I don't do a whole lot gift getting wise of gifts uh, I get a gift every year from my goddaughter 
um, the friends, I have a few friends that get me things. And then um, when we go to my dad's, we do a rob your neighbor game where we all bring a gift and then we get to take a gift home when we play that game. And then I get a gift for my daughter. So I don't get a ton of gifts. It's not gonna be a massive video or anything like that, but I would love to share it with you guys. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I won't show that stuff. That's up to you guys. So um, I just wanted to say again, a Merry Christmas to you all. Um, like I said, it's kind of a dreary day today, but I'm so thankful and blessed to be off today. Um, and I hope you guys are having a blessed day today with your friends, your family, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, I hope you're having a Merry Christmas. Thanks so much, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.